Hey friends and family, it's pretty late, it's 2.39 a.m. where I am, but I felt like making a video that I think has been asked a lot, but not directly. A lot of you guys, whenever I make these videos where I talk about playing with friends or co-op games or MMOs, a lot of comments do say that I don't have friends, Sky. Sorry. These games look cool though. Well, I've actually made a list of games that you can play alone without friends and even have the potential to make friends within these games. Now, some are more focused on the solo play and some are more focused on being able to make friends, but I've got just a quick list of five MMOs that I think you should give a shot if you just kind of want to feel something. <laughs> it's late night, you're all alone, and you just want to be around people or just be able to play a game and have the option to potentially socialize if you happen to want to. I know it's kind of weird and niche, but I don't know, maybe I'm the only one who can make this video. So let's get into it. My top five favorite MMO to play with no friends. All right, starting out the list is gonna be a game that probably could be number one and it might eventually rise up the ranks is gonna be Final Fantasy XIV. I am putting it so low on the list because I am just now getting into it, but this is as uh, we speak, as of right now, the game that I am playing through kind of as my late night and chill game, which basically any of these could really be that, but Final Fantasy XIV is a fun game to play alone because it kind of almost forces you to. It is a JRPG basically, especially through the leveling it seems. So I'm just a little baby sprout potato, Lalafell healer. I definitely am excited to run into dungeons and match make with that. Uh, make friends, this community has some amazing features. Uh, currently, I think there's even an event where people are doing like this convention where they're using the housing system in order to have people kind of exist within a pseudo convention kind of thing. I don't know. They, there's a lot of really cool community stuff with this game, even if it's not giant open world bosses or giant open world PVP and, and things like that. It's not a giant open world, but Final Fantasy XIV is fun as a solo game that then sort of transitions into an MMO as you play it a little bit more, which I think a lot of people do appreciate, actually. Not always everyone's cup of tea, but Specifically for a list like this, where you are alone, maybe you want to play a little bit alone, but then also maybe, you know? Yeah, so I think Final Fantasy XIV is a great game to start the list. Next, we have Black Desert Online, which is a completely open world. And it is completely like there is PVP, there there is housing, there there is a, a lot of open content to this game, not just combat, but also with fishing and life skilling and stuff like that. So pretty neat. And you can even play this game actually just almost farm village or clicker based uh, where you do just life skill. You can play pacifist. You can just, I don't know, run around PVP too. Not really, but most of the time, <laughs> overwhelmingly so, most people play this game like it's an action RPG. So even though it is an open world and there is PVP, Actually, most people run around completely alone, highly incentivized to do so with the mechanics of the game and just kind of grindeth on it, which is actually really fun. This game has objectively the most action based action combat of any MMO. And of course, you will occasionally see some players maybe get ganked, maybe do some ganks yourself, maybe chat it up a little bit. It is still an MMO and you could potentially join a guild and maybe do some of the groupish ish content that comes later on. And even so, a lot of the group content of the game, such as the bosses, everyone just kind of jumps in together and it's sort of like entering with a lottery, trying to see if you get the rare item from the boss. So it's, it's, it's a good amount of fun. It definitely is grindy, but if you look for a game that is an MMO, that is like totally fun, almost as a single player action RPG, Black Desert is the number one. And I gotta say, just to end on this section, that Black Desert actually, I had so much fun streaming and I made some friends with you guys and, and in playing just slightly a little bit sort of cooperatively can actually be a good time. It's one of those turn your brain off kind of games like Warframe maybe, uh, or yeah, even some action RPGs, obviously Black Desert is still a fun game to play with that mentality of, okay, I'm going to come in, I'm just going to play alone, but you know, hey, just maybe I might make a friend or two. Halfway on the list, I'm going to throw up RuneScape. Now, RuneScape has a few quests that are a little bit cooperative, but I, I think that really the, the special thing about RuneScape is that it's questing and it's leveling all does kind of interact with the MMO world, even if you're Iron Man, actually, which is basically like you don't interact with anybody, even though they do have group Iron Man now. That's pretty cool. But RuneScape is not exactly a direct cooperative game. It is a game where you exist and it's almost single player 
and the questing is like puzzle focused and they're really epic adventures um but they really are sort of your own endeavors but depending on what items you need and where you need to go other players are going to get kind of in your way or they're going to take the items that you have or you can trade for them so this game actually allows you to really play with the economy play with the mmo space but at the same time it sort of acknowledges that yeah this is a sort of self-aware kind of funny day you know fourth wall breaking playable fable and you're the star you're the you're the captain of this ship so i really do like runescape as a game that you can play cross-platform you can have it on your phone like i do i do appreciate old school runescape but yeah you can play it just totally focused you don't need a guild the game doesn't really champion those sort of mechanics anyways you don't need a party to do anything it's really a solo focused game that exists inside of an mmo universe and it's also tied into the story and it's it's really funny trust me guys the, the quest thing is the best in this game so if you just want to play a game that's, that happens to be online maybe you can chat it up with some people interact with some people but still be playing alone this is absolutely a game that i have to suggest I recommend completely uh, if you really want to play a game that's like on your phone or something too Number two, I have the pretty much only MMO FPS, except Starbase just really center early access. So that's cool too. But Planet Side 2 is it. Uh, it is the game that has really the easiest jump in jump out of any mmo ever that gets you into the massively multiplayer aspect this game is so high up because i found myself yeah it's fun with friends absolutely but i found myself uh, with the voice chat uh, and the way the game is played kind of absorbing myself um, or being absorbed myself into the community because of just the strategies uh, working together with people and oftentimes a lot of people who are really like veterans of the game they'll sort of take control um they'll squad up they'll you know they, they'll kind of basically yell at you and tell you what, what to do but it really creates these epic moments and of course, there's that social interaction um, where, yeah, you, where you as a solo individual player, it's kind of hard to make a difference unless you do work with other players. Anyways, you literally click play, you make a character, right? You choose a faction, which is going to be Vanu Sovereignty, um, and then you're going to jump down and you're literally hundreds versus hundreds versus hundreds of people. It's crazy. It's chaotic. It's so fun. I can't champion this game enough but specifically as like a late night game just to jump in and get an mmo fix just like hyperdermically injected into your veins uh, th this is the only game that i can really think of but i think it's really underrated in a lot of ways and one of those ways because you know it's it doesn't have like proper guilds exactly it's not an rpg exactly it's not this giant whimsical adventure but in terms of like seeing people playing with people directly cooperating with people and even talking with voice chat Planetside 2 is actually a great game to play, so you don't feel so alone. And finally, my number one, my favorite MMO to play, uh, totally alone, is actually going to be Elder Scrolls Online. And maybe in a few videos before, if you're a subscriber, you might have heard me mention that I, I play this game a good little bit, uh, but I don't actually stream it. So this is specifically a game that I actually totally enjoy playing on my own and in this mentality of solo gameplay playing solo isn't exactly playing alone though because i still do love playing as an mmo i still love running dungeons i still love interacting in the open world and, and trading and stuff like that but um you know like all that stuff of mmos i appreciate it but elder scrolls online just has this Frankly, it's, it just kind of feels like an Elder Scrolls game, especially now. The questing is really decent, fully voice acted. There's a sort of cinematicness to the whole experience, especially starting out. I really appreciate it overall. And I'm having fun with my my night healer. Um, you know, it's fire forget. It's enjoyable. It's really easy, though, to um, make sort of a bad build, I think, uh, where the combat can feel floaty and such. But I think healing in this game is great. Overall, though, yeah, I'm playing it sort of for the questing. I'm just really playing it for the journey, the adventure. And part of that is just, I kind of want to go in just fresh, baby-faced. I don't want to have any sort of meta streaming interaction. I don't want to be forced to go faster or slower playing with friends. I really just want to play it as I'm an individual in an open world that I can now make friends in if I want to or play totally alone. The option is there for me. This is, or historically has been, and probably will be in the future again, my late night and chill MMO. So... If you guys really want to play a single player MMO, uh, Elder Scrolls Online makes sense because it's literally Elder Scrolls that just also happens to be online. And it is a proper MMO, but in a lot of ways, um, I think it, it used to be the worst of both worlds. But now over time, wow, Elder Scrolls Online is the both uh, best both worlds. And it's it's really a fantastic title that um, gets overshadowed, I think, a lot by virility. But man, they're just so consistent with updates, expansions and things. So definitely give this game a shot if you want to play an MMO, but you're not going to play with friends. 
And that's it, I just wanted to make a list of five. There's probably a whole 10 list I could have made, but I really wanted to get to the ones that I think were truly potent, truly spectacular and special, and had mechanics that specifically revolve around playing alone or stories that entwine themselves of you playing alone, yet still actually interacting with the greater MMO space. If you wanted to make friends, now, I'm sure that a lot of you guys would say that any MMO you can make friends in, and that's probably true. Like, really, like you could just join in Discord or Facebook groups, and it's it's not too difficult to make friends if you know where to look and if you actually truly are passionate about the game that you're playing. But if you just wanted to jump into a game and sort of dip your toes in the waters, I would have to say these are my five to pick from. But if you guys have anything that you want to add, let me know in the comments below. It'll help out all the friends and family. Anyways, all I can ask is that you guys keep the hype alive. Hope you had fun. My name's Skylint, and I'll see you in the next one.